always taking action for you. Well, the search is on right now for serial smash and grab robbers ripping off ATMs out of area Secretary of State offices. The money machine poachers forced offices to shut down three times in less than a month. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is on the scene of a location hit early this morning in Detroit. I'm at the Secretary of State at Seven Mile and Evergreen in Detroit, and you can see what the crooks did overnight. Take a look. They burned rubber driving a truck and then crashed that truck right through the Secretary of State walls. Once they got inside, they grabbed an ATM, they loaded it onto their vehicle, and took off. Witnesses say it took just a matter of minutes and it was all caught on camera. Police are reviewing the surveillance video. Take a look at this video from the scene right after it happened at 3 30 this morning. Broken glass all over the place. This could be connected to other recent incidents that happened in just the last few weeks. There was an incident in Southfield at 10 Mile and Telegraph at the Secretary of State there. Plus, less than a month ago on October 19, seven action news cameras rolled on this scene in Dearborn. Witnesses heard a loud boom, then saw a van inside the building. The robbers loaded up the ATM and took off. People trying to come to this Secretary of State at Seven Mile and Evergreen today, frustrated by the crime, inconveniencing them as they try to take care of business. What do you want to say to people did this? Get a job, you guys. Actually, it's, it's crazy. Why you got to steal an ATM machine? You must be really desperate. It doesn't make sense. If I can get a job, everybody can get a job. This is just ridiculous to see that people in our city just, they just, they don't care. It's ridiculous. And now we have to go somewhere else. My car is broke down and now I have to find another way to get my ID. As for when the Secretary of State at Seven Mile and Evergreen will be back open, a spokesperson for the Secretary of State says it could be sometime early next week. They say don't count on it being back open Monday. There's a lot of work to do to make repairs. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.